Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, Law Murray on your TL, and I'm going to tell you now, this is the 2024 NBA Epitome Game Series, where I pick out one game from each team from the last regular season. I am putting the spotlight on the biggest weakness of the 14 teams that missed the playoffs and the biggest strength of the 16 playoff teams from the regular season. This installment features the Orlando Magic, led by all-star Paolo Bancaro, the Magic brutalized teams on their way to their best season since the 2011 lockout going 47 and 35 and earning the fifth seed while defending at a top three level. The Magic had an 18 point lead in Cleveland during game seven of the East semifinals, but weren't able to hold on. Still, Orlando made the playoffs for the first time in four seasons and have a lot to build upon after being younger than every team except for San Antonio, Oklahoma City, and Detroit. The epitome game for the Magic came at Charlotte in early March the front end of a back-to-back. -back. The only thing worse than dealing with Orlando's defense is trying to get second chances against them. Here's what it's like to deal with the Magic defense. Miles Bridges chased off the three-point line, met outside the paint, met in the paint. Jonathan Isaac swats at his shot attempt and then winds up grabbing the rebound. Miles Bridges missed 13 out of 16 shots. Now look at where the Magic are. That's Mo Wagner on an island against Vasilij Micic. And as Micic takes this step back, Anthony Black has to box out Nick Richards. And Cole Anthony has to box out Brandon Miller. And that's the smallest guy on the floor, Cole Anthony, securing the defensive rebound. First minute of the second half. Micic, he's going to try to slow floater. And credit to him, he's going to secure the offensive rebound. It wound up being the last offensive rebound that the Magic gave up for the entire game. And they didn't even allow second chance points off of it. I can't stress this enough. The Magic were not interested in running. Okay, They didn't have any fast break points in the fourth quarter of this game. They were all about securing rebounds. They did not allow a single fourth quarter offensive rebound. And this is a bottom five fast break team. They don't care. They're rebounding. The Magic held Charlotte to seven second chance points on only three offensive rebounds. For the season, no team allowed fewer offensive rebounds than Orlando, even though no player on the team averaged seven rebounds per game or more. Orlando still has a lot of growing to do, as they were my worst shooting team in the league and ranked in the bottom five in turnover percentage. To address the shooting, two-time NBA champion Kentavious Caldwell Pope was signed in free agency to replace Joe Ingles. Former starter Markel Fultz is still a free agent, as the Magic will continue to use Bankero, Jalen Suggs, and the newly extended Franz Wagner as primary ball handlers. Stay tuned for the next installment of the 2024 NBA Epitome Game Series, featuring the Cleveland Cavaliers.